hey youtubers and reddit and everyone else um, so today I kind of wanted to make a educational video specifically about Java fern um, most people are going to come across it in like these tubes like this um, that's the easiest way to find it and it is popular and there's all kinds of Java fern but in general they all work the same and I wanted to show something that I figured out over time because nobody showed me so when you get it and you pull it out you get this bundle like this and at the bottom it's just this black mess now it's not supposed to look like that what has happened is they have put it in a container and the roots have tied around each other around each other around each other and um, you want to expose uh, the rhizome and that's where the leaves are growing off of the main the actual plant now what I've discovered after delicately taking the time to unravel these instead of just planting it as one piece there's actually could be as many as three or four Java ferns in here and um, like I found one this size uh, this size here and uh, I just glued it to a crevice with the roots you know kind of sticking outwards you, you glue the rhizome don't glue the roots the roots need to be able to flow freely and then you know let it continue to grow but so I got one out of there and what I'm doing is I'm soaking it in dechlorinated water and look at how it's like you know falling apart and I'm finding all these plants in there you know with roots that need to be trimmed yeah you need to trim these dirty roots they're not they've been you know acclimated in gel and auger and you know whatever tissue you found it in and you've got to um, get them loose snip a bunch off let them restart you know and you can glue several pieces or if you find a spot and you're lucky like right here I've right here I found like a little hole that I think I can just wedge this in if you can do it naturally without gluing that's awesome but yeah make sure that you find the rhizome and if you look right here you'll see it's a solid nugget that's curved and the leaves are coming off that way okay that's one rhizome it was probably a new one that started inside the bundle that added more leaves but it wasn't part of the same exact plant and you know like i said this was all glued together i mean that this was all glued together and i just started separating it so first separate it find the actual rhizome and then you're going to snip off a bunch of roots and uh separate them in a way where they're exposed and it's just the a rhizome that's attached to wherever you want it attached you can use thread or you can use glue or if you find a good enough spot where you can just wedge it in that's even that's even best because then it just naturally will start wrapping its roots around it but the roots are so long you need to get rid of you know the majority of it so they can start working their way into the wood um, so it's something I've learned you can just take the whole plant out and just rinse it off a little bit and lodge the whole thing in there but when you take it apart, you will find out that you actually have a bunch of plants inside there. And I didn't notice this before when I've done it before. And I've been successful with it, but something just made me look really close. And I could tell that there was multiple rhizomes. And I was like, this is like four, three or four plants at least. I need to clean this better. And yeah, it's really tangled. The roots don't want to just slide apart. It's, it's seriously a bunch of tiny little knots. And I would soak it i mean i've been soaking these for hours and then just kind of pull a little bit uh pull a little bit it still wouldn't come apart you know and then i would soak it a little bit longer and then pull a little bit more pull a little bit more and pull and then boom i found another one and then i soak it a little bit longer and i can see that there's two pieces even inside this one so um yeah take them apart you know expose it pr pretend like each plant is a baby that you're starting over and snip the tip of the rhizome everything needs to start anew it's all got to be reacclimated to being an aquatic plant that's the problem with uh you know tissue cultured plants is that you know they've been grown either in soil out of the water um or they've been cloned into an auger gel and have never even been underwater so you've got to teach them how to become aquatic again you know and java ferns really hardy you don't have to go through all this but I can tell you right now that cleaning it this delicately every single stem even though there's copious amounts and separating each plant 
you won't have as much die off and you will have several plants and it'll all just start growing separately and taking over your you know your piece of wood or attach it to several pieces of wood there's you know every day i find out ways that i can save money with these plants that i i find that i think are one plant and so far not one plant has proven to truly be one plant there could be as many as um a dozen depending on what what type of plant you pick so take your time and always really rinse the roots off well of any kind of plant you get and really take a close look and see am i looking at one plant or am i looking at a plethora that are tangled because this has been the case for every single plant that i've come across and i've done i have gone through close to 20 different species right now and it's all been the same so uh anyway that's uh this is you know an educational and advice just have some patience and keep soaking and eventually they'll just start separating and you'll start finding all these tangled up and java fern by far uh is the most tedious but you'll i mean you'll see i mean this is ridiculous this is one one plant that started and its roots are just so ridiculously long because it was growing in a container and just started wrapping around itself when it should have been digging into something you know driftwood or rock or something like it like it would out in the wild you know um because these plants can't be stuck in a soiled substrate they're like anubias you know their uh, roots act like fingers and they grab onto something and collect their nutrients from the water column uh, so you know just be sure if you do use glue um, I'm using this fluorite gel it's specifically made for plants um, you know just to be safe but if you do use glue be sure you're not gluing the roots you're just gluing a piece of the rhizome that the leaves grow off of and that's what's being glued and then from there the rhizome will continue to grow from either side and then the roots will start digging their way into the wood um, that's all I've got to say about java fern. This, there's all different kinds of java fern. This one in particular is called uh, Asian water fern or uh, heterosalite. Uh, Once again, bad with the pronunciation. I do not care. I just want to make sure that I plant them correctly. So uh, anyway, if this video finds its way to you, take a second look when you're looking up videos for java ferns because you will see a bunch and not one that I have seen has explained the delicate amount of time you should spend on this particular plant because um, it also help it grow faster it's a slow growing plant already you know and you have several rhizomes that have all entangled to each other and it's not going to know which way to grow if you just grow the entire you know nugget of dirt and roots together separate them snip all the roots snip the tips of the rhizome attach move on with your life all right Enjoy. Thanks for watching.